an integrated logistics company that offers a full suite of shipping solutions to its clients. Here's a stock that has surged from the mid-20s just two years ago to above one point in December, even as it's pulled back to 82 over the last five months. Um, hey, we know a lot of stocks have done that. The thing is, when Arkbest reported in late April, they blew away the numbers, with Magnus sounding very confident about the future. These levels, the stock trades is just six times earnings. Maybe that's because Wall Street doesn't believe they can make the numbers. Either management is wrong or the market's wrong, so let's check in with Judy McReynolds, the chairman and CEO of ArcBest Corporation. You get a better sense of where his company's, her company is headed. Ms. McReynolds, welcome to Mad Money. Well, thank you, Jim. So happy to be here. Well, it's your first time on. Uh, you got a little bit of a complicated company. People know you as a trucker, but you're much more than that. So I'm going to give you the floor to explain to our viewers why your company is set up in a way that we've seen from time to time, logistics, and uh, and trucking. We saw that, by the way, when, when we first started interviewing uh, Brad Jacobs. So you've got the floor. Go ahead. Yes. Well, we we are we've had some great results over the last couple of years, but we've been on a journey for a number of years before that. And I'm really confident in our growth trajectory and our earnings power and our ability to successfully navigate whatever the market conditions may impact the supply chain. But uh, we are positioned to perform well through the cycles. Uh, we've diversified our service offerings, and we've done that um, in order to really uh, provide the solutions that our, our customers are desiring. Uh, many years ago, um, we did some market research, initial market research, that told us that the customers that we were doing business with um, had so much more that they were spending their dollars on. And so in the last uh, 10 or 12 years, we've been on a journey to position the company with those solutions. And uh, we've done that and it's worked very well. And our results over the last uh, several quarters have shown that we've had uh, six straight quarters of double digit revenue growth and seven straight quarters of at least double digit uh, non-GAAP EPS growth. And so we're glad and pleased to be in a position to really serve our customers, particularly during these trying times. Okay, so now let's talk about why the stock market is not according you, what I would say is the price earnings multiple you deserve. There are people who believe, for instance, that Amazon overbuilt. There are people who believe that there is uh, no way that you can continue to do what your numbers are if the economy slows because of the Fed. Why should we think that we would want an art, a logistics and trucking company if the Fed is so bent on getting inflation down and you put double-digit price increases through, making it so you can't do that anymore? Well, let's see. Um, there's a lot there, but uh, we, you know, are approaching our customers as an integrated um, logistics company, and that's key in all of this because you know customers have told us they want us to provide more of the services that they need. And so sometimes uh, their need is greater during times that are uh, difficult for them, uh, where they have soft spots um, in their revenue growth. They'll come to us and ask us, plan with me, help me. Um, and we position the company where we have those uh, analysts, those uh, experts that can work through that um, and combine things in a way that creates efficiency for them. And so, you know, we're there for them. We have market uh, growth opportunity that's almost 500 billion, and that's grown. But and within our customer base, five billion of, of opportunity just within our loyal customer base. Well, Jim, and I, so we I, feel, uh, yeah, I agree. Ahead. I agree with you, but. Uh, I mentioned Brad Jacobs earlier. He felt that XPO Logistics was not getting the credit that it deserved. He had a beautiful logistics oh. business, like yours, uh, and he had a great trucking company. And he decided, you know what? It's two companies. And he created a lot of, of shareholder wealth. I mean, what happens if your stock pr your price earnings mobile doesn't go up and you can't produce the kind of returns you like? Would you ever think of doing that? Or do you think that the two be are, are best under one roof? Well, here, here's the deal. I mean, we are very focused on what the customer need is and listening to them. Right. And they're telling us that when we sit down with them, our seamless and integrated approach is really where it's at for them. And we, uh, we want to uh, be in a position where we're having that right conversation. And we've had that um, time and time again. You know, when I first took my role, um, 90 plus percent of what we did was LTL only. So we came at this from a different place. 
and we've seen the evolution and we know the conversations are right and we really feel great uh, especially about um, our managed solutions which really bring it all together and we work through uh those challenges with our customers you're not worried about a slowdown you're not worried about yeah. a slowdown right now no I, with the opportunity set that we have i'm not all right I well am. fair enough i yeah. like that you know what it's about time someone said Someone just said, listen, our business is good enough, and I'm not worried. I want to thank Judy McReynolds. She's the chairman, president, and CEO of ArtBest. Go study this company. It may be incredibly cheap, okay? Really cheap. That money's back after the break.